Got another character for the Abomination Vaults cast, but this one is actually a backup should my own character, Snick, ever get killed. Snick is dice cursed for sure. He has moments of absolute glory, and on the flip side, entire fights where he never lands a hit once. It's this constant back and forth with how lucky he is. In one of the sessions, Snick got slapped from full health all the way to dying three in one series of attacks. With all that had occurred, I wanted to make sure I had a backup character just in case Snick goes down. Obviously, I hope that he never dies, but this character concept sounds so tantalizing to me as it's a spirit instinct barbarian with blessed one dedication. Barbarians are the meatheads of tabletop RPGs. They hit hard, can take a hit, and usually rush into combat with little regard for the well-being of others. And because of this, they are my all-time favorite base class. They can be defined as a ball of raw emotion with tree trunks attached to them, and can slap their target in the face with damn near anything to put out a solid chunk of damage. Spirit Barbarians acquire their raids through possession from some being that follows them. Whether it's a friend or foe is to be determined by the player. They are spiritually sensitive to what's around them, and they have an anathema for disrespecting corpses unless they are defending themselves. This form of Barbarian's rage damage takes the form of positive or negative damage of my choosing and gains the Ghost Touch rune properties. Their Raging Resistance also covers negative damage and the damage dealt from attacks and abilities from all undead things regardless of the damage type. The Abomination Vault is full of undead nasties and would make him invaluable. Another reason I made this character is that our party keeps becoming encumbered and a big meaty orc barbarian fits the bill perfectly. The Blessed One dedication is one who carries the blessing of a deity and is granted the focus spell Lay on Hands, which is both offensive and defensive. It also doesn't require the character to concentrate to use, which is important for Raging Barbarians. At level 1, Lay on Hands is a 6 point heal every 10 minutes and grows by 6 more when it heightens, while also including a plus 1 AC bonus for 1 round. When used as an offensive spell, it is a 1d6 with a fortitude check that, if failed, reduces the target's AC by 2 for one round. With the character now fleshed out, the art I used came from BoysB on Twitter from 2019. I spent a lot of time just looking for the best piece that would fit the character, and far too many pieces of orc art were mid-yell and bare-chested. Golgeth uses a breastplate, and while the art shows full armor, it's the best depiction I could find. There's a link to Boysby's Instagram down below. First off, I wanted to remove the cloak and weapon. While they look incredible, my character uses a bastard sword, as they have a one-handed and two-handed option. This allows me to keep a free hand for healing if need be, and choosing between offensive stance or using a parrying scabbard for defense. While editing, I also realized I missed part of the cloak. With the cutout finished, I then went and looked for an HD metallic texture and made it the appropriate shape. Though looking back at it now, I wish I had copied the orc's cloak links, which are octograms. Oh well, you live and you learn, and I'll prepare that template for the future. Next up, I wanted to show off this character when they are possessed or enraged. I decided to paint in the eyes and went with the color blue for this, as it's not an evil possession, but something from the character's backstory. I then created a soft inner glow of white and an outer glow of blue to give it an otherworldly effect. I reused this same blending option a lot in other parts of the piece. Next, I used the Marquee Select to create veins, and reusing the same blending option give it that sense of power and not just blind rage and anger.
I then added small details that give depth to the art. A drop shadow and a lens flare on what felt like the closest and brightest part of the armor. I then followed up by cleaning the drop shadow effect after I rasterized the layer so that I can clear up the bottom of the ring where it overlaps. Afterwards, I began to cut into the token ring and have it look like the energy is splitting it apart, cracking the iron ring. I also created a duplicate of the arm and painted on more of that energy on top and below the hand to show it radiating from him as one hand would have the opportunity to cast the healing spell. I added in some gentle irises to help convey the direction he is looking, and kept them soft using a low opacity so as to not have them pop out too much. This keeps it simple looking as it is an important part of the face where people will look to begin with. Too much vibrance will detract from the rest of the piece. Finally, I added in a few more cracks into the iron ring and the other hand, as I felt like they were needed. While editing the video, I also made a few changes in post. Cleaning up the part of the cloak I missed, and giving the eyes more power to them at a quick glance. Here is the final version of the token. If you want a weapon, here's a weapon. If you want conversation, here's a weapon. I now like you less. I did not think that was possible. Just as a reminder, the tokens I make for my eventual Patreon are the outside circular parts only. I do not own the arts for the characters that I use in the videos to show their potential, but with the character art I choose, perhaps one will pique your interest to hire for a commission work. The tokens I will offer will all be PNGs that are easy for personal use when they become available, including color variants for some of them. Please do support the artists that create the amazing characters and works that I've portrayed. They deserve it. And finally, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. I'm still having fun with Pathfinder characters, but the monsters need some love too.